And we're back with some more Rimworld. And today we're going to be taking on a lot of centipedes. We got uh, three of them over here, one of them over here, and another three over there. And normally this would be, well, this would be the moment you would be calling for your brown trousers. Uh, we only have, what, six colonists ready for combat, which puts us in a bit of a tough spot normally. But did I mention a whole bunch of our people have insanity lances? So I'm thinking we insanity a few of the centipedes and then we clean up the stragglers. Of course, we do have to take care of a couple of things first, namely the speedy ones. They've got a pikeman, uh, a lancer. Ooh, yeah, so long as the pikeman and the lancer are there and the pikeman over here outrun them, they should end up in our kill box over here and then we can slaughter them from there. In fact, we might want to open that door to give them a route to the bedrooms. And uh, that might be an idea. Right, well, we'll let the uh, the enemies make their way to the kill box and once they're there... Ooh, we might want to insanity one of these soon. We can get someone to poke out that door, insanity one of them, and let them murder each other. Uh, ooh, actually, I'm just thinking about something here. That's an Inferno Cannon. We can't do anything with that one. The Inferno Cannon ones basically don't damage each other. So, ooh, that'd be great. If we could, say, get that one killed, insanity lands that one so that the two of them start fighting. The Inferno Cannon will do zero damage to this, and if this one can kill that one, then it would then sit there and just chew away at the Inferno Centipede forever and ever. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Uh, let me get you someone over to this door anyway so we can Insanity Lance the three coming in from the north. Okay, Paul is set up right here. Insanity Lance can reach a distance and... Oh. Yeah, those visitors are probably about to go down. What gear have you got on you? Uh, some pemmican, some silver. Hey, we could we could do with some extras. That'll be fine. Uh, Paul, are you about ready to open that door? I think you are. So we're going to do that. And then zap you. Then we're going to have you immediately go there. Did you just shoot a guinea pig? Wow. Was that our guinea pig? No, no, whatever. Yeah, I've taken the dog back inside. It's in the animal section, so we'll leave it at that. You're not going to last very long. Also, that Lancer's stopping to kill you. It's fine. This buys us just a little bit more time. In fact... Hmm. Hmm. You know what, Paul? Get back here. Once they're finished killing that centipede, I think we'll insanity this centipede. This one's going to end up injured. Oh. And if that one comes out on top, it should be able to win against that one. Yeah, yeah, I like the idea. Well, plan A went according to plan. Uh, plan B... You can hit that one. See, this one already injured down to 61% health. If we zap the fresh one, uh, and then immediately run away. Perfect. So now it's zapping that one. That one's going to take a bit of damage. Yeah, I think that basically takes three centipedes out of the fight, or makes them so badly injured we don't care. Nice. Uh, down here, how are we looking? Well, yep. I suppose the silver will survive. Uh, everything else will, of course, burn in flames. All right, let's let's uh, let's get everyone prepared to head into the kill box. No, no, one more insanity, I think. There's still a few too many, uh, few too many centipedes left for my liking. Jeez, you are basically shedding health incredibly quickly. Oh, 28, 26, come on. If you could just kill that one centipede, that would be so nice for us. We're going to bring over Mitchell here. They've got another Insanity Lance ready to go. Oop. Oop. That might actually be too slow, buddy. You know what? That's perfect. Run, 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 run. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh. Yeah, your construction skill is actually great. So you know what? Let's get you to repair wooden door. Nope, nope, nope. Stop, stop banging on the door. Yeah, this kind of works out-ish. Uh, yeah, we're still going to have one full health centipede, one very weakened centipede, and then an inferno centipede that's weakened. Oh. No, we can do this, we can do this. We'll just have to get everyone into the kill box. At worst case, we can pop a shield pop if we really need to. Nope. In fact, we might want to start populating that kill box right now. The whole team is inbound to positions. They're all equipped up and ready to go. That pike man's coming in right now. That actually is good for us. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, Carol. Marksmanship command, please. Did 
Damn, okay, still got off a shot. Uh, Mitchell took the hit too. What are they doing over here? Yeah, still fighting away. 14 hit, percent, 49. Ooh, that one's gonna go down soon. But, we spread out the attackers. That's the important bit. This is gonna suck though. I wish we had EMP grenades so badly. No, okay. Why are you not shooting? Oh, you are, never mind. Come on, come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh yeah, Paul's on fire. That's good, they're heading for water. Go for the water. Okay, good, good, good. Get back into cover. Oh, damn it. Yep, yeah, this is not going great. Damn it. You know what? I think we're gonna have to burn the shock lance as well. Uh, you. Jason, get back into cover, buddy. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. There's a... You know what? We'll worry about the caravan in a minute. I think we'll just have to stand there for a second. Okay. Centipede is incapacitated. I'll have everyone, if you wouldn't mind, kill that thing right now. It's the only thing that can one-shot us. Perfect. Guys, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, okay. Carry centipede to crypto sleep casket. Wait, wait, we can stick a centipede in a crypto sleep casket? Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. You know what? No, no, no. Let, let's check how everyone's doing. Jason, how you go holding up, buddy? Okay, so you're not too bad, actually. Paul, how you doing? Not too bad either. Damn, that actually went okay, especially considering the amount we had to kill. Oh wait, there's still an Inferno Counter Centipede, and this one left to go. I need to get someone over there, kill that, and then move on to the... No, then we can take care of the next two, which are very badly injured and should hopefully not get to shoot too much. But before we do that, let's have a quick check on the trade section. Alright, what have you got to give us? Hopefully they've got some Insanity Lances and Shock Lances and... Ah, uh, no. Oh my god, why did we send this person out with a psychic insanity lance? This entire place had nothing worth buying. Seriously, all, I, all they've got is junk. Well, maybe a psychic suit pulser or an animal pulser, but... Uh, you know what, we might just take the animal pulser. And leave the gold behind. I was going to use the gold just as a store of value. We'll zero sum that out. I think what we're going to do, though, is... Uh, we're going to accept that trade and then immediately head over here. Uh, trade with... Yeah, it's 0.7 days. You can do that because you've got horses... You've got very limited items you're carrying, and we can, as well as that, make sure that you're able to eat the food we've given you. Alright, for this next centipede, we're going to do things a little differently. We're going to get in close. There's no other... well, there's no other mechs we've got to deal with, so Carol can go finish off that one. Okay, you should immediately get around the corner. And then we're going to have one person melee it. Uh, who's got a good melee skill? Dimitri has a six and a passion. Carol? God damn it, Carol. Okay, you're in water now. Can you can you stop being on? Ah, there you go. Good job, buddy. Now I'm gonna need you to come back in here immediately and get in range of everyone. Okay, you melee. The rest of you get in behind him and start shooting. Yeah, stop him from shooting and kill him. Perfect, perfect. Everyone, get back. Oh my god, everyone's a little bit bloody today, but at least the rain started falling. Okay, you go there, and same thing again. They come in. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. And... excellent. So, you melee them. You all get in behind them. And start shooting. Uh, yeah, it's perfect. Point blank range, really hard to miss. And it can't shoot because it's in melee and done. Oh. Okay, everyone. Back to work. That was, uh... Yeah, we're gonna have to start scrapping the corpses. Otherwise the corpses are gonna start adding value to our tile. And oh my god, that wooden door is on fire. Someone go put that out immediately. Uh, anyone too bloody? No, not bleeding out. Not bleeding out. 
though everyone is a little bit unhappy right now. They'll, they'll be fine in a bit once they get a meal into them and they stop being bleeding. For repairing up the troops, we're actually going to use a little bit of medicine if we've got it available. Uh, the reason being burns have a chance, or they have a multiplier to their infection rate, so you're better off treating burns with good medicine to reduce the chances of infection as much as you possibly can. So I probably shouldn't be doing it in the dark, though Ali is an amazing doctor, what are they at? Nine medical? Yeah, and they're getting better all the time. All right, let's fast forward this a bit. Pumps has decided to have another mental break. Uh, might be because of all the starvation we've been doing to them. But, you know, it happens. Let's see if we can report, repair the door faster than they can damage it. Oh, wow. No. No. What, why, why'd you go in there? Didn't tell you to go in there, buddy. And hold your fire for a minute. <sighs> Looks like we're just going to have to do another traditional beatdown. Sorry, buddy, we are trying to recruit you, but... I think we may just have to stop with the mistreatment of prisoners because this is just going to result in a lot of scarring. They've already got a scar on their eyeball. Wow, you got to give it to them. Despite being malnutritioned, they're still like holding up pretty good to all of this. Anything too bad? Ugh, God damn it, now we got more bruises we got to repair on our own people. Anyway, let's get on with the day. We have plans for it. Also, our trade caravan is about to hit, what is it, Gold, good, goodliness? But whatever. It's almost there. Like, come, come on. I swear to God, that last section just took for an eternity. The rest of it was like, oh, never mind. Uh, let's see what they've got available to buy. Please tell me. Oh, Doomsday Rocket Launcher. Yes, please. Oh, they've got all the good stuff. Oh, man. We don't have enough money to buy all of everything we want. We're taking the Doomsday. We have to take the Doomsday. It's their first one that we've seen so far. They've also got a second one for sale. We're coming back for that. They've also got two Insanity Lances and a Shock Lance. If we've got money, we're coming back for those as well. It, this, this place is just... Oh, how did I not hit this place earlier? Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. We can just, you know, we'll send them home. And that's going to take a 0.8 of a day. Those horses make things so much faster. All right. In the meantime, we should queue up some clothing for sale. And, oh, we can probably break down this for components. We can also give them all of the gold we've got here to sell off. Yeah, I think we're going to take all our money and go there. To make our lives a little bit easier, we've moved all the animals down into this section behind the walls. This is a nice safe area for them, and it frees up this area to be turned into, well, one section for food and one section for probably, I'm thinking, our altar. Ooh, that reminds me. I have been meaning to mine this out for a while, but we've been trying to keep our, our wealth low, but now that we're actually going to be spending a bunch of money, I think we can just mine that out and immediately use it. Dimitri can get right on it. What's your... Mine's got eight. Perfect. As for our conversion process, it's going along... Mm. Okay. Let's just put it this way. Cummings will join us shortly. They're on 3%. Humps, however, they're going to take a bit longer. It turns out mentally breaking them is not as easy as we were led to believe. Hallelujah. We have a new convert. It takes a while, but they eventually get around to it. Ah, welcome to the fold, my child. You will soon be butchering people at high speeds in no time. Trigger happy, bloodlust, jealousy. Ugh. You are going to love it here. Now, time for a naming. Please welcome Zen Jing to the team. They'll be, uh, oh, well, cooking. We don't have a cook yet, so mining and social. Oh my god, so many social trigger happy people. Wait, wait, totally forgot. We haven't actually recruited them yet. We've just converted their religion. Now, this comes up, uh, why do I break their resistance before I convert their religion? And that's to do with them having mental breaks. If you say you convert their religion and then they mental break and it's a crisis of faith, it could turn them away from your religion again. So I like that the moment we convert their religion, we immediately try recruiting them. Just, uh, I think it's safer that way. And what's next? Heat wave is over. God, thank God. That is about time. It was killing us, literally. Uh, the world map, or the wildlife map, was looking pretty sparse there for a while. All the animals ran away the moment the heat wave hit. Which made me a bit nervous, but hey, we just got attacked by mechanoids, so what more could Randy throw at us? And wait for it. Wait. No, no, Randy decided to be merciful for at least the next five seconds. To help organize our planting, we're going to do this down here. This is going to be our potatoes. This here will be heel root. Over here, we're going to have our psychoid. Then we're going to have our smoke leaf and then a small bit of plant tincturna, tincture, whatever. It's the plant that allows you to color clothes. And we're going to use that at the styling station so that we can get people color themselves whatever way they want when it comes to their clothing and it, it gives them a little mood boost. Is it necessary? Probably not, but we might as well try out the new mechanics while we're here. And then once they've finished planting those, we're going to start walling this section in. Then we're going to wall this section in and turn this place into an altar to Emily. It's going to be our conversion zone. With plate armor finished, we can finally go along and grab flak armor. That's drastically going to increase our survivability. And Sean, go put on a shield belt for the love of God. I've changed some of their uh, clothing requirements so they'll actually put on some decent gear. Oh, finally. 
Zang has joined us. Perfect. We can get them equipped up. Give them a weapon. Uh, you're going to be grabbing that SMG the moment you're good to go. Also, we have some people visiting us. Traders, what do you got? Okay, you have... Well, the only thing that really jumps out to me here is the Chinchilla Fur Slave Body Strap. That uh, seems kind of kinky. You know, uh, whatever you into, I suppose. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's the fact that it's made of Chinchilla Fur. It's like... Yep, yep, perfectly normal. Uh, maybe cull down the animals. I know there's an auto cull feature, but I'm trying to get a certain balance of male and females. Uh, and the horses are not quite there yet. What are we at? We've got six horses. You know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're doing fine at the moment. Everything's going well. How do we have six muffalo? God damn it, I thought we only had five. Okay, one of you's gotta go. Eeny, meeny. Next plan. Seal this area in. Want to keep our crops safe, and then if we do get a toxic fallout, we can just plug that in. Well, we're going to need a solar panel and stuff, but we can effectively plug that in and get ourselves at least some food during a toxic fallout. Once that's done, we'll seal this in and turn it into our altar area. Okay, I have no idea how I missed this, but Sean Byug has an inspired recruitment that expires in 19 hours. Uh, when did that happen? But uh, right now they're trying this on humps where they're trying to convert them. So I have been advised that this should instantly convert their religion. Or does it? No. It does not. All it does is it reduces their certainty. So even having an inspired recruitment doesn't help. Ah, eh, pity. That would have been a nice way to instantly recruit people. Eh, I think that we're going to send Sean out on a little bit of a caravan journey. They are going to go, well, buy us some, some more doomsdays, shock lances, insanity lances, you know, all the usual stuff. None of that little crop section is fine. I kind of expanded the psychoid leave section. I figure we're going to need more of that later. Time to turn this place into an altar. Emily needs some proper place for her worshippers to congregate. Ooh, damn, there's already deep mountain there. That's annoying. Looks like we're not using that corner of this section. Deep Mountain, of course, it allows insects to spawn, so if the temperature's above minus 17, I want to say, or is it minus 15? Yeah, one or the other. I'd have to look it up again, but we can't expose that or we'll be getting infestations left, right, and center. Sean, but Byug has made his way all the way back to the trade settlement. Time to see. Yeah, we, we're going to buy all their junk. Selling off pretty much everything we have and taking all of our gold and silver, we've managed to pick up a Doomsday Rocket Launcher, Insanity, Insanity, and Go Juice. We need a couple of Go Juice because... Our sniper doesn't have any more left, so, well, they've got one left, but it'd be nice to have a few in reserve, just in case we need to do any more run-and-gun type stuff. Uh, we're roofing in over this area here, but we're leaving the plants for now, until we get one more harvest out of them, then we're going to seal this place up. Then we're going to smooth out the floors over here, and we're going to smooth out the floors in the kitchen. We're sort of just getting ourselves stabilized. It It's just, it's slower right now, because, where is it? Under needs. We need to go conquesting every so often, or it'll hit our mood, which reminds me. There should be a nearby conquest. Yeah, that 1.7 days. I think after Sean gets back, we go on a bit of a conquest to that logging site. And uh, they are... Actually, I'll have to double check to make sure. Yeah, I don't think they're friendly with us. And this site here, yeah, they don't care. Oh, they got potatoes. No, no, no. We'll take the logging site. It's only got seven people. We're not going after 14 people just yet. We have uh, assigned everyone to go off on a quick raid. We need to keep that mood bonus up. Everyone's on, what, low expectation? Re recent conquest is only at 6. We need to get that right back up to 12. Quick killing spree will sort that out, and everyone will be nice and happy again. Sean Byug is going to stay behind and hold down the fort, make sure Humps doesn't escape, and uh, beat them into submission if they try. Also, they have uh, the best chance of surviving if we do get hit by a raid of some sort. And we've got left them behind a doomsday and a whole bunch of nasty weaponry. They should be able to at least make a massive mess if someone does show up and try and mess with the place. Due to all the horsies, we are super zippy. We're going to get there in no time. What are we facing? We're facing seven people. Well, we got seven people too, and we got guns. I'm hoping they are not gun people. Oh, actually, they might be. What's the site? The Nequin? When I see Nequin, I think the Neolithic. So I'm presuming they're going to be bows and arrows. I hope they are. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it, this might be... Oh, yeah, definitely. Look at that. They've got, they've got the, the club thing going on. This should be fairly handy. How can we can see that room? Does that have a roof? It... You know what? Never mind. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Okay, you guys all get in here. That should be close enough. We don't need anything too fancy, I think, for this. And then we'll just start middling them down. Though if any of them are capturable, we will be taking them. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Let's see if we've got any uh, fresh candidates for the meat grinder. What we're really interested in right now is we need an artist. We need an artist so that we can beautify our rooms so that we can get a good altar ceremony stuff going on. And this is the only artist we've seen in a while. Bloodlust, hard worker, psychically dull. You know what? They'll fit in. The bloodlust kind of works them too. 
they're, they're going to have a few problems. Uh, the reason being, Bloodlust makes them four times more likely to start social fights, and Hard Worker gives them a minus five social with everyone by default. So they basically dislike everyone to start, and they're more likely to start fights. They're going to end up, yeah, they're going to end up getting really hurt a lot. Uh, well, they'll start fights and then end up getting killed by our people. Okay, let's see. We might have to get a little bit closer or send in someone to trigger them. Who's got the longest range weapon? Carl, Carl, get in there. There you go, Carl. Hey, they're attacking. All right, we'll head back here. And that's good. Okay, where is the one we want? It's Lago, I want to say. Nope, wrong one. Where are they? Cobra? Yeah, Cobra. Perfect. All right, Cobra, we're going to be recruiting you shortly. Okay, which one have you used? Got? Nope, that's an Insanity Lance. Oh, Shock Lance, one charge left. Right, this one has a Shock Lance. Wallace here has a Shock Lance that actually has two charges left. That is useful to us. Zap Cobra, please. Oh, God damn it! brain damage. Yep. Yeah. 50%. Wow. Okay. Well, that's, uh... Fortunately, they're going to end up burning to death. Oh, wow, one of them got a shut off. Yeah, I don't think any of the rest of them will. Well, sorry, green. Bad day for you. Also, does anyone carry any gear? Oh, pemmican. I'm letting someone with pemmican get away? You know what? Don't care. We're going to go rip up some floors over here. Right, gift-wise. Ooh. Four dining chairs, not the worst. Though I have realized that if we bring them along, they'll, they'll change the, uh, oh, was it the rustic? So having the rustic feel in our base might not be that good. But I think we can tear up a whole bunch of flooring here. Like just all of it. Some of this is, oh, that's sandstone tile. Well, you know what? We'll tear it all up and see what happens. All right, I, I think we can stop there. There's 1,700 wood, 340 sandstone blocks, a whole bunch of cloth, uh, and a hundred slip. We can't carry all of this, even with all the animals and everything we brought. It's just not an option. We'll reform the caravan here. Uh, let's see, what can we actually bring back? We took all the cloth. It's it's nice and light, but we're going to take 1,700 wood and a bunch of slate blocks. Why not? That's, uh, that's ludicrous. I wish I had known about ripping up floors earlier. We could have really went nuts a lot sooner than this. While we're at it, I think humps is almost converted. 4.4% down to 1.4. Oh, hell yeah. I think about one more hit and they'll be ready to join us. That's their health that. Okay, they still got that leg scar, but that's, they came with that. And their eye's not that bad. We'll get them a bionic eye later on. Nice. We'll actually have a new convert. Two in one episode. These weird meetings in the middle of nowhere just still freak me out. We, we've met someone from Rotisserie and they've probably got stuff to sell, but really, what are we going to buy from them? Oh, they're selling human meat. Oh, good people. Good people. Oh, we've gotten a quest. The problem is it comes with a Silink Neuroformer. They're so rare for us. They're like gold dust. But the problem is it's a mech cluster. Three centipedes, two lancers, two pikemen, four scythers, one climate adjuster, two proximity activators, four unstable power cell, two mech nodes, two mech assemblers, seven mini tug starts, and two auto charge starts. Yes, a tasty, tasty, tasty amount of death. I think we kind of have to take it, though. I don't want to, but I think we're going to have to. Con conversion. Oh, yes. Welcome to the team, buddy. Welcome to the team. All we got to do now is convert. Oh, wait. Sean, just uh, clean that room for a minute. We don't want him getting annoyed. His mood's getting low. We don't want him having one of those, you know, mental breaks that would cause him to convert. That would be bad. Wait a minute. How did a boom rat self tame? Never mind. They are Revenant and Greek. Ah. Hey, could you do me a favor and... Oh, they got a meal coming up. Where is that boom rat? I don't think we really want that in our stables. Can you even milk these now? Haven't they been re-changed? Re okay, we'll keep them for now, but I guarantee you that thing will explode at some point in our face. With all of our people back, we're slowly unloading all of the... Ooh. And we have a new recruit. Finally. Humps has joined us and they immediately go to pick up a second insanity lance. Hmm, I respect your decision, sir. That is a that is a smart plan. Which also reminds me, our research is finished in flak armor, so we can start research making flak vests. But I'm going to get some psychoid brewing underway, namely because we have a bunch of psychoid plants that were coming along. And that psychoid tea is kind of keeping us quite stable. It's very nice for the little mood boosts it gives. Even if we are raiders and we're getting... Where is it? 
a massive oh god sorry wrong one a massive mood bonus of plus 11 from everyone who everyone because of the raids Ooh, wonderful gut worms for ali piper and jason sutton now one thing about gut worms is they uh i believe the cure according to rimworld is well the rimworld rookie is 300 percent 10 quality as in three tens of 100 percent will completely cure it so you're best off using medicine to try and get rid of this quicker uh carol there what's your medical skill that's a solid 10. You'll be fine. Would you look at that? Quality of 100%. Perfection. Two more of those and they'll be completely over it. Wait, are you tick Oh yeah, you, you're a night owl. You're snapping during the day. All right, we're putting in a few extra bedrooms just because, well, we're probably going to want some new recruits in after a while. Uh, once, actually, we'll put in one more bedroom right here as well. And once that's in, it's time for Emily's new altar. Oh, we do have a garland seed in storage, so let's show that over here. Uh... How? Hmm. Why can't it go in some spots? Does it have to be in a certain line or something? Weird. Okay, we'll put you right there. Uh, look change desired by humps. Humps, yeah, they're going to change what they look like. Uh, let's have a quick look, see what you're going to do. Yep, nope, never mind. I'll get around to it in a second. Uh, the reason we're putting it over there is we might as well put it by the other trees, I suppose. As far as I can tell, it makes no difference to each other, but we're not going to be sending anyone to worship or to tend the tree just yet. If we were, we'd probably use a slave or something like that, because it's very time intensive doing anything to do with them, especially if you don't have any religious uh, affinity for it. Psychoid brewing done. Uh, what's next? Hmm. Well, beer sounds great, but you know what? Uh, let's continue on with our gunsmithing route. We do want to get up to multi-barreled weapons. Yeah, let's head down that route. Right now, we've got Jason doing an awful lot of work on the flak vest front. We've got two excellence and one masterwork flak vest created, and we're using, we're making them out of all of the cloth we stole from all of those sandbags that we raided, which I just like. The, 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 we've raided all of the materials we're getting. Okay, well, we did have to harvest a bunch of the steel here, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, Shot, where the hell are you going? Cut. Wow, we are, are we running out of stone blocks locally? I think we may be. Uh, let's check. Wow, we've managed to strip most of the blocks from nearby. Yeah, you can see this sort of dead zone around us. Since we finally stabilized, uh, the plan is quite simple. We've got our two weakest shooters down here, rather than uh, Humps and Zeng. Both of them are trying out the EMP cannon and the smoke launcher, respectively. And uh, yeah, the Muffalos are having a very distraught day, but it's fine, it's fine. This is slowly training them up and getting their skills better and better. Once we get everyone up to like about a level 8 shooting, I'll feel a little bit more comfortable. Oh, gunsmithing. Perfect. Everything is just working out. All right, then that means blowback operation is next. That gets us machine pistols and auto pistols. Then that'll get us up to heavy machine guns. And then finally multi-barrel ah, multi weapons so we can get miniguns for everyone. That's going to be hell of expensive, but... That sort of was the whole plan. We want a bunch of trigger-happy minigun-wielding nutjobs. Dear Lord, the research is flying. Excellent. Uh, that's blowback operation. This gives us heavy SMGs, which... Tempting, but no. Yeah, I, I'm not doing heavy SMGs this run. It's all about the miniguns. And you two can get back to work. How is your accuracy looking? 87% for humps there. Well, they do have a dodgy eye. Once, once we get them a bionic eye, it'll totally counteract all of that. Anyway, as you can see, we've got more than enough bedrooms now, and I think I'm going to do a little change in plan. This is going to become a storage area, and this is where we'll have uh, Emily's altar. We'll move all of this junk out of here into this storage section. It's closer to where the animals are anyway, which reminds me, I should put a, maybe a door right there to make it easier. Maybe move all the animals over there as well, their sleeping spots. And then we can keep our storage here, altar and all production here, bedrooms here, crops there. And that should at least get us into the mid-game. Now, I have been thinking long and hard about this quest here. This one is tough. The main problem is going to be they're going to guard it, and they're not going to leave it, so we can't suck them out of it until we destroy, what is it, the climate adjuster. And we don't have mortars yet. Hmm. However, it is only a climate adjuster, so that's plus or ten, minus ten degrees. I think we can actually kind of live with that. And then all we have to do is hold out until another raid shows up from someone else, and let them fight it out instead. We just close our doors, which reminds me, we should put in a door right here. Yeah, give me a structure. Let's uh, stick in a granite door. Say right there. And then what we can do is we can open that door up or close it as needs be. And I think for now, yeah, considering where we are, it's been a while since the last raid, so I'm expecting one anytime now. So the plan would be accept the quest 
and then really hope that the next raid is not more mechs. <laughs> I mean, okay, we could take this. We've got, we could take this, but it's not going to be easy. Oh, and we also get some mercenary snipers to go with this. Great, I forgot all about that. You know what? Uh, do we have enough beds for these guys? Oh, also, mech drop pod has arrived. <laughs> I love the way it's just like this stream of dot. Okay, there that's... That's okay. That's far enough away. Oh my god. Yeah, those four unstable power cells were also one of the reasons I wanted to take this. That's just so good. Mm. So, let me think. How are we going to tackle this? Well, I'm not really seeing an easy solution to this one. But I'm thinking we're gonna... Well, we could activate an animal pulser. There's a few things we could do. But... Uh, I'm thinking we leave it for now. There's no point rushing into this headlong. Plus, we've just been gifted four additional people for the colony. They're snipers, but, you know, and one of them, unfortunately, is a careful shooter. So we'll have to make sure they don't make it back home alive. But everyone else, you know, they should get along. We've even got enough bedrooms for mm, three of them. And the fourth one can sleep in here in this room. It'll be fine. Settle in, guys. We're going to have to take care of this in a while, but not just yet. We have 13 days before the climate adjuster activates. And I think Randy should send us a raid or a manhunter pack or something in the meantime that we can help you use to soften that up. To help us out with this uh, new mech duster, we've also got a psychic drone high. That's, um, it's just wonderful. Thanks so much, Randy. Um, everyone's going to be a little bit unhappy for a while, but once moods start dipping low enough, we'll pop a, a soothe pulser to hopefully help even things out. In fact, how many soothe pulsers do we have? No, not the animal ones, the other ones. Oh, damn it, I think we've only got one. Should probably invest in getting a second one of those. Uh, where are you going? Yep. They shouldn't have any reason to go down here, so... But I think I'm going to make a special zone so that our people don't go down into that corner. Oh, wonderful. An animal plague on top of that. That's just... Excellent, Randy. I was really hoping Randy would do, you know, an attack instead. Something that could help us soften up the mechs. Uh, looks like I was a little bit too smart for my own good. All right, we'll deal with the... Uh... So those two are going to have a social fight. Oh, damn it. If we arrest them now, that will actually cause problems. It used to be you could arrest people and then immediately release them. But now any arrest gives them a negative moodlet debuff. Can any of them take the negative moodlet debuff? Not really. Jealous of Freddy's bedroom. Don't worry. We'll get Freddy out of there in a minute. You know what? Let them fight. I have a strange feel it, feeling that Humps is going to win this one. Ooh. Dear Lord, are you, do you guys want to stop at any point? Holy Christ! That's not a social fight. That's just murder. Oh my sweet Christ. Okay. And uh, now Humps is just going to grab a beer. <laughs> I knew Humps would fit right in. I just knew it. Everyone is immediately tucking into the... Uh, the drugs, so basically we've set it up that if their mood goes below 35%, they grab a beer. If it goes below 33%, they grab some Psych IT. And if it goes below 30%, they chuck in some Ambrosia on top of that. Uh, we haven't actually included Smoke Leaf yet because I don't want to. That stuff, uh, you know what? We will every three days and only if the mood goes below, we're going to say 26. We don't want them using that unless things get desperate because of the consciousness reduction. We'll have to do some tweaking to that later, but mm, the time being, just stay close to home and try not to do anything too stupid. Okay, and we'll patch you up as best we can, Muppets. Oh, does that reminds me, is Ali and the rest recovered from their gutworms? No, still have gutworms. Mm, just, just wonderful. Two of the new snipers, they're actually half-decent artists, the best we've ever seen. So we've got a, a, an eight in artistry and a seven in artistry. So we're gonna get them to produce a bunch of marble statues while they're here. I mean, why not? Food binge for Molly. Uh, go for it. I think we can cover a food binge. Eat as much nutrient paste as you want. Consider it free. Oh, while we're here, we should probably give Humps their real name. Uh, so, please welcome Magnus Leiden to the team. Uh, I'm gonna say Mac Punchy Face. Yeah, there we go. Love of God. I love that his first week consisted of punching someone unconscious and then grabbing a beer afterwards. Yeah, this is just... Mm. Sean, where are you going? Where are you going? But Oh, you're going to rope in that muffalo that's self-tamed. That's fine. But uh, we're not doing anything, like not even a little bit until that psychic drone ends. Oh my God, it's brutal. Some people are going to be very unhappy, but with all the drugs we're dishing out, people are staying pretty much... 
Oh, yeah, maybe I should pop that psychic suit pulser. You know what? Let's do this. Activate. That uh, should hopefully keep everyone. Just tied it over for a little bit longer. Oh my god, the amount of drugs and everything they've consumed to get this done. Uh, we've also finished on... Yeah, we can unplug that. Can we? Yep. There we go, better. We ran out of power there because we were running things a little bit too hot. But that's okay, that's okay. Once we take out that mech cluster, we'll be able to steal their unstable power cells and power our base. Well, Zeng has gone on an insulting spree, which is... Well, that's not good. Eh, what's their source? Yeah, it's fine. You know what? We're going to have to arrest you. We can't have you doing that. So, yeah, there you go, buddy. Why don't you go sleep it off? What's your gear at? Ooh. You know what? Keep the insanity lance. It's fine. We'll let you We'll let you out once this psychic drone ends and you're not so uh, insane. Yeah, everyone's a little bit tense right now. Just a wee bit. Oh, the drone is ending. Oh, thank God. Uh, you know what? That means we can let them out. Uh, release. Yes. Uh, we could do recruitment, but you know what? Breaking them again and getting them to join us, not worth the effort. If someone had an inspired recruitment, I probably would, but I'm not that motivated. All right. Yeah, well, of course, they're going to be a little bit unhappy. They're currently a little bit banged up, high on an awful lot of drugs. Oh, my God. Agnes did a bit of a number on you, all right. Be fine. Be fine. Give it a couple of days. You'll, you'll get way better. Probably. Now that we finally have some statues in here to improve the impressiveness, we can get rid of all of these urns. We don't need them. They're... Like, an urn gives how much beauty is this worth? Five. One just good statue gives a beauty value of 270. So as you can see, one statue basically obliviates the need for any of these urns whatsoever, and it's taken our room impressiveness all the way up to extremely impressive. Now we just gotta stick in a granite altar to emulate this 3,000 work to make one of these, which is insane but it's fine it's fine we've got a bit of time we've got a stable colony and things are looking good except for you know that that, that could be a problem especially if some traders arrive over there and activate it too early uh ooh, lmgs smgs yes that's that's good can we get multi-barrel weapons immediately yes we're not gonna have enough components to make enough miniguns early on but it's fine we'll find a way around that too dear lord we're getting social fights all over the place here uh carol and ali started fighting which is kind of annoying because Carol was about to tend to Ali and get rid of her uh, worms. Oh god damn it! Since Carol Wallace became a prisoner, he can no longer hold the role of Daka. That's um, that's annoying. That means we have to do the whole thing again with. <sighs> god damn it! You know what? Let's just uh, recruit. No, release. Where's the release button? Perfect. You. Damn it. Okay, and they're released. Damn it. This new system of working with people. Like, how are we supposed to stop social fights anymore if our only choice is to arrest them? I mean, arrest them or beat them into the ground. Hmm, I'm gonna have to come up with a new method. An attack has finally arrived. Unfortunately, it's a sapper raid, so we can't turn it against the mech hive. Still 9.6 days left on that. Third, wait, what's the... Damn it. When did these other things activate? Mm, you know what? 9.6 days. Then we'll worry about it. Also, we got to worry. That's a, a centipede uh, spawner. We're going to have to kill it pretty quick. However, this is not too bad. We've got, what, 31 humans, mostly armed with junk weaponry. This one has steel plate. But the great thing, the absolutely amazing thing is we have a trigger-happy pawn that's good at art. So you, we need to psychic shock lance you, and we need to hope and pray that you don't take brain damage from us, because look at those stats in artistry. An 11 burning passion trigger happy artist we have been holding out for one of these for ages. I mean, okay, the arts we, we got in has already managed to bring this room up to extremely impressive. It's hard to understate how good that is. By bringing it to extremely impressive, we're getting a plus six bonus from recreation room and a plus six bonus from dining room. That's a plus 12 mood from this room. I think we we're only getting two or three per whatever for room per, for this room. So those extra statues just made a huge difference. We can also put an extra statue in everyone's bedroom, which means instead of getting, what are they getting for their bedroom right now? Oh, wait, yeah, it's nothing. A mediocre bedroom gives you nothing. By putting in a statue in there, we'll be able to get everyone about three to four mood extra every day. That's just going to be such a, like, and for all it costs us is a bit of marble and a statue. We've been holding out for one of those for so long. But, I mean, we're over time for today, so I'm going to have to leave this fight till tomorrow. But this should be fairly simple. I'm thinking we open this door. 
Uh, get everyone bunched up there, shield pop to protect us, and then just mow them down. We even have, like, this is the same size as the last one that showed up, only this time we have way more people. And we've also got those four snipers at the rear. They'll help out a little bit, I suppose. Anyway, I am going to cut this out here. I think next up is going to be miniguns. And then hopefully we can get on with the final phase of the plan, which should involve an awful lot of killing. But, you know, I don't want to spoil anything just yet. So uh, I hope you enjoyed and good luck.